there could be a handful of players that can put the ball in the basket for Louisville. The towels are waving inside the Yum Center. Louisville always draws well. Amor to Kitley, going to the basket. Lob to Kitley. Cochran late and commits that foul, and that's not one she... Amor sets things up. Coach Brooks told us she would be so important to help identify this Louisville defense, how to work through it today using her basketball brain as she goes inside to Kitley, working. That won't look good on film tomorrow. Jada Curry back up top to Jefferson. Through a double team. They've had some great crowds at Castle for the men and women this season. Tough place to play. Carly Wenzel with the reverse lay-in. Carly Wenzel off the bench does a nice job of reading the second level. And no one rotates to stop penetration. Louisville three for seven on layups. Sumiel, corner pocket, called it. Into the corner, wide open, it's a miss. Sumiel tried to get it, Kayla King coming out with it. Amor for two at the elbow, swish! A little grimy, it's been a little dirty, but it has worked. They've been terrific at making shots. And Alyssa Thomas, that's right. Courtney Lyle and Debbie Antonelli with you from Louisville. And Matilda Eck holding the follow through. Second three pointer that Virginia Tech hit today. Eck feeling it. Well, Virginia Tech has brought their offense on the road. They are shooting 56% from the field. Georgia Amor hits the fourth three pointer. Louisville fans wanted a travel by Amor. Georgia lets it fly. Crushed it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. She's averaging six more points per game than she did last season. <laughs> Kayla King, if she could get going and get out of a little funk. Especially on this end of the floor where they really haven't been able to stop Virginia Tech. Karis Baker waiting. My goodness. Drive down the lane line. We mentioned Kitley, but Amor, by the way, had 14 points in the first half. Kayla King, her second oh, three oh. of the afternoon. Seven seconds. And we swing it to Amor in the corner. Are you kidding? Oh. Oh. And then one good shooter passes it to another for the deep. As Nina Ricards is trying to cover up Georgia Amor, easier said than done. My goodness. Always knows where Kitley is. I heard them on a podcast this week. They have this chemistry, and they know if one of them's on, they just say, give her the basketball. It's a feel more than a conversation. Sydney Taylor switches. A few years. <laughs> wow. Georgia Amor. I mean, you try to take away the three. Harris feeding Cochran, cutting, and Big O, second on the team in scoring, makes herself available in the logo area through contact, and here she comes. Got the towels going. Might have been a double dribble. Two seconds. Time for a catch and dribble. X coming in, doesn't need the dribble. They've been really good on out-of-bounds plays. A big-time bucket by Eck to finish off the quarter. Virginia Tech up 16. Defense! 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 A little feet shuffle got the Louisville crowd going. Kayla King. And she shot 37, almost 38% from three last year. Nina Ricard with a spin and up and in. She's into double figures. Watch this play right here. Nice move inside. Ricard's high off the glass. Amor rejects the screen. Ricard's falls down. Oh! Open paint. 
Okay, Rec the defender falls down and then she comes off the screen. And if you don't cut her off, there's no help. Kitley just fades away. My goodness. Five of 14. I mean, it is wow. a work of art. It is gorgeous. I think that's the first time they've gotten the ball behind the defense, and it results in a kick out three. Well, Virginia Tech goes on the road and they shoot 65.4% from the field. That is their best field goal percentage in an ACC game all time.